sitting in my uh, first floor coffee shop waiting for my mochaccino and plain donut. It's a bakery and I should point out that those breads right there, they're like a big roll. They sell eight of them for about 40 cents. They're very accommodating. They put mine in a special cup so I can have a, basically it's a double, a grande uh, mochaccino. When I came here, they didn't have mochaccino, but they had hot chocolate and they had cappuccino. So I convinced them to mix it half and half and put it in a large cup. And the donut, they're really yummy, especially when they come right out of the oven. This is 6,000 pesos, so about $2 for grande mochaccino and a donut. I forgot to mention, in his donuts, he puts this little surprise. It's only in one spot in a donut. He injects it with about a half a spoonful of caramel. And it's just a, it's just a surprise. <laughs> So here's the entrance of the coffee shop, which is at the base of my building. And right there where you see Provenza, that's the entrance to the building itself. And then uh, the next thing you see is the barber shop and hair salon. And the, down on the end is a drugstore. Across the street is a pet hospital I think and here is uh, some work um, work on this building I never hear it but I see progress every day I think I'm just out of earshot and this old building here has really nice big rooms it was tempting and then right up the street to Bolivar or La Catorce, um, the main road. And down here is the side of the building. And you see those garage doors, there's two of them. Lower level, the one on the left is for me, that's minus two level. And then the one on the right there is minus one level. I've got a parking space, visitor parking, and a bodega, a little storage room. And those are the big rooms, they get a big balcony. I've got the equivalent of that. It's 7 a.m. so there's not a lot open, but on the corner, there's that old building. In a kitty corner to my building, you've got a restaurant there for lunch and restaurant there, a little tiny one. And a few tiendas, one here on the left and one on the right. We're almost up to Bolivar, which is just a few steps. And here is the side of Mokawa Plaza. Every day that vendor is there selling fresh squeezed orange juice. About. 65 cents, I believe. Alright, let's take a look at an ATM here. You can choose English. Withdrawal. Checking account. And you can choose these amounts or another amount. I already got my money. Parque Fundadores, which is right next to the Park of Life. And here is Davi Vienda, which is no fees, no taxes, and I get best exchange rate. And then over there is Cold Patria Bank, which is where I pay for my rent. Another advantage of these small buses is that if you have a day where it's not that busy, it's easy to pull one out of the rotation uh, to keep your costs down and then put it back in when during the busy times. With the large buses, it's much more difficult to do that because there's such a uh, gap 
in the times when the bus shows up. These buses, as you just saw, there were two buses in a row. They're constantly, they're constantly coming because they're small buses. So it's actually more efficient. Bank opens at 8.30. Uh, I was early, but so was a bunch of other people. So December's rent's paid. Oh look, a bus. <laughs> um, I have to say something about customer service. You don't know how much you miss it until it's gone. And um, as anyone living in Ecuador knows, in Ecuador, customer service is mostly non-existent, with a few exceptions. Here in Colombia, in Manizales it was the same, and here in Armenia, everywhere I've been, people are so nice. Okay, so I'm here at the bank, I paid uh, December's rent. Oh look, more buses. I paid December's rent, and as you saw, I was uh, in line because I came early. When we went inside the bank, the people at work in the bank were lined up to say good morning with big smiles on their face. And as you go up and get taken care of, everybody's smiling, everybody's helpful. It's just refreshing everywhere you go, be it a restaurant, a store, if you make a mistake in a store uh, and you need an exchange, it's no big deal. If you have a product that you need to take back for some reason, it's absolutely no problem. I had a mistake on, an, on a home delivery that they made and uh, so they threw in some extra items as a thank you for being patient and we're sorry. You would never see that in Ecuador and I really love that about this place. One of dozens and dozens of English language places. I'm going to uh, stop into one of these and see if they need a volunteer uh, for uh, conversation, but not today. Some of you regular viewers may remember this place, Wanderlust. It's a hotel I stayed one time with a cafe and a breakfast place down below. Someone sent me a, a question. It was actually a really good question. They noticed in the background of my videos um, the dress, the clothing that people wore. And they said, I thought Columbia was so concerned about dressing to the nines. And you look across the street here, I mean, they're almost like <laughs> vagrant looking. You know, even, even the women, they're not exactly fi uh, fashion crazy. Well, first of all, uh, it's a work day and it's during work. During the daytime, you're going to see people dress for work, and uh, particularly the females at night will dress up like like uh, models. One thing I want to say about Armenia, uh, the reason you probably see more of it here than uh, most other cities, it's a very small city, about 300,000 people. It's a working class city. It's a middle class, working class city. Uh, they're not so pretentious. In Manizales, everybody was very nice, but it reminded me a lot of Cuenca, where everything was more formal. Uh, the way you talk, the way you address people, the type of things you would say. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a jokester. I, I make bad jokes constantly. And in a place like Cuenca or Manizales, it doesn't really go over. They, they don't get it. They don't have a... That a Harley. They don't have the best uh, sense of humor, I would say. But here in Armenia, another reason I'm always comfortable here is they get it. They're the same way. People are laughing and joking and being just as bad with their jokes as I am. It's a very down to earth, like I say, working class, middle class type of place. I guess you'd say they, they don't seem to be putting on airs. And I, I like that. I appreciate it. I fit in well with that. So here's a place called The Bridge. And why is it called The Bridge? Well, because it's under a bridge. <laughs> so what better place to put up a bar and restaurant? Thank you. 
Jalapeno. Okay, check this out. Grand Columbia University. Now somebody sent me a message or posted on YouTube about vegetarian restaurant, particularly good one. And I want to say this is across the street and uh, maybe half a block from Una Central. It's a vegetarian restaurant. They deliver to the home. But there's no shortage. There's a ton of vegetarian uh, restaurants in Armenia. So here we are. Just walked down to Una Central. And it's a, it's a mall with an Exodo. Cinemark Theaters. It's one of the older malls, but um, good place to go. And of course, the obligatory casinos. You'll never see me step inside. I'm not a casino kind of person. Strange choice in outfits. This is the welcome sign to the, basically the center of town. It's about nine o'clock. And I see most places are open in the mall. Surprised me a little, Manizales, nothing open until 10 or 11. Buenos. So I was told to stop taking videos in the mall. It's a mall rule, not any particular store. But here I am in Exodo, which is kind of a Walmart, uh, Sears type of store grocery store down on the end and I'm looking for some pillows I want to mention I, in the mall as I was leaving there was this nice old couple by the big Christmas tree and they were taking turns taking pictures of each other so of course I offered to take one of both of them and they were so nice and they said how friendly I was and then more old couples came asking me to take pictures so this morning I was the official picture taker for the holidays.